and salsa with some rattles. And barrages. Let's get started. Today I'm going to be talking about gymnastics grips and showing you how to make salsa. Grips are an important piece of equipment for gymnastics and even bars. I will be showing you how to put them on while I tell you a little bit about them. You get usually gymnasts get grips uh, when they're about level four gymnastics. At my old gym, I wasn't able to get grips until I could show that I was able to do my kip. These are my brand new grips. I've only worn them a couple times. I've only worn them a couple times, and Blakely will be wearing the grips that I currently use. Grips are, you wear grips to help get a better grip on the bar and to prevent your hands from getting what's called a rip. And rips are very painful if you've never had one before. I've had one. But as you can tell, it doesn't prevent it completely. Anyways, let's continue putting them on. So I have something called a buckle grip, a double buckle grip. And my very first pair of grips, they were only single buckled because I wasn't that serious in gymnastics yet. But some gymnasts have something called Velcro grips. And those aren't where you buckle them, but you just wrap them around in Velcro. I've never worn Velcro grips before, but yeah. So here I'm just putting them on, kind of like you would put on a sandal with buckles. And here are my grips. This is the dowel. It just spins it, kind of. If you're wondering what that thing is. And I got my grips from online from Rye Sport, and they're Swiss made. So yeah, now, these are the grips that I use currently in gymnastics. I needed new ones because these are like half the size of my new ones. So I need new ones. But you put them on with the two kind of middle fingers, your middle finger and your uh, ring finger. And this, this the, okay. Then you put it on. You put it through here and tighten it. You want to make sure that your grips are very tight because if they aren't, it could be very dangerous because if they get undone, then your grips could fall off and you could lose your grip on the bar and fall. salsa. Here are my ingredients. Half of a red onion, three tomatoes, two jalapenos, and one chili pepper, the juice of one lime, a half cup of chopped up cilantro, and oregano, and cumin. Oh yeah, I forgot. The most important thing about grips is that you don't get salsa on them. The, and the most important thing about salsa is you need to wash your hands before you prepare food. 
First, we're going to chop up half a red onion. For some reason, I feel so sad. I can't. <laughs> Okay, Blakely, time for the tomatoes. Okay, move over, sis. This is a trick that my daddy taught me. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, do it again! Uh, I don't want to. This one I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. Likely, do you think a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable? Fruit. I think it's a fruit too because it has seeds and it's juicy and it looks like a fruit and it grows off of a plant. But well, vegetables do too. Yeah, but to vegetables do too and it grows out of the ground. I don't know. But tell us what you think in the comment section below. Is the tomato a fruit or a vegetable? They're very juicy. Now for the peppers. That's crunky. Sounds like it. Wow. Okay. Now we have to chop it up. I'll chop the small one up first. You want to try one? Yeah, I tried this one. Try a piece. I'll say that piece for you. 
That's bigger than yours. Chop it in half. Be careful your thumb. So that's a hard part. Yeah. Here, I'll do this part and then you'll do this. Oh. So hot. Alright, now take the seat up. Over there. Why do we have to put this in the restroom? Like we don't ah! enough chili pepper for this recipe. We're gonna throw the rest in the sink. Now for the, the lime. to mix it.
sorry, my armpit just went in your face. Now it's time to get our grips and some chips and try it out. Now that we're done, it's time to test our creation. Wearing grips, chips, and salsa. Salsa! of how grips work. So once you put them on, you there's something called the chalk bucket and it has a whole bunch of blocks of chalk and like powdered chalk, but we don't have that here. It also has a squirty bottle. So you have your grips on, you squirt your grips with the bottle of water and then you put it back on top of it and get chalk. So let's pretend we're doing that. So we have our chalk on, and we go to the bar. And you put, so the dowel should be like that, should like fold around the dowel, and then you grab the bar. So the dowel folds there, and you grab it. And yeah, so. We'll go ahead and show you some bars. Okay. I can do it. <laughs> what about that? It's fine. I was a little scared. Or my cat. I don't want to lift up the bars off the ground. Now it's just about. <laughs> Thanks for watching Kitchen Gymnastics. I hope you liked our grips and salsa. Be sure to check out Blakely's new channel, Blakely's World, in the link down below. Thanks for watching. Adios, amigos. <laughs>